Hey, what's up, you guys? Tom is back with another Lintense video. Today, we have a fragrance from Latafa, one that has been recommended quite often on this channel. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me on an exercise bike right now in the gym, figuring out what fragrance you're gonna wear for date night after you get that nice workout in, trying to buff those muscles up a little bit for wifey or a little, little piece, if you will. But anyways, thank you guys again. It is an honor. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Likes, likes are really, really, really important. And uh, I gotta give a special shout out to Mr. Steve Kim again, uh, going above and beyond and sending me a couple of samples. Now, the last one I sampled was the Latafa Al Kiam. That one uh, he sent me. Uh, he also sent me a few others, and I'm actually gonna finally get into one of them now. One of these ones uh, has been um, again suggested multiple times on my page, on my channel, whatever. And so I'm finally going to do it. This one is, he sent a little note, but I think some of the uh, the liquid might have erased it. So I'm over here like a blind guy. Like I'm feeling for like curves and stuff into the letters and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, but this one I believe is Latafa's Cumbra. Now I think this is like an Angel's Share uh, clone, if you will. So it's going to be kind of sweet, kind of uh, gourmandy, if you will. Now I've smelled clones of Angel's Share before. It's been a long, long time ago, so I, I, you know, I'm not even sure what to expect anymore. I'm just expecting some sweet, syrupy, uh, woody, maybe ambery type thing going on here. But again, big shout out, Mr. Steve Kim out there in California, man. Go, you know, and support the little guys. Okay, go, go out there, man. Little Steve Kim, he's like, you know what, Thomas, this guy's doing his thing. He's, he's trying to be the next Jeremy Fragrance. He's trying to be the next Big Beard B. He's trying to be the next Jensen. So let's go help this guy out. Let's give this guy a couple samples. And again, he did just that. So again, very appreciative of that, Mr. Steve Kim. So uh, now I'm sure you can probably get this uh, from my guys out there in California as well. The Oud Intense Store, you probably get it over there. You probably get it on Triple Traders. Who knows? But uh, this fragrance is... Kind of being hyped up a lot. Now, I know the bottle looks very nice. looks very classy, almost like crystal-like. I think it's like a square bottle, but here we go. We're going to go with this one. Kamra Latafa, again, an angel share. Um, see how the, the oil concentration looks on this. Now, sometimes you get those... Uh... <coughs> oh, man, that's nice. That's a beautiful scent. Uh, sometimes you get those ones from like a duo and all that stuff, and... Um... Alexandria and they got the real high oil concentrations now this is just Latafa but um so it, it doesn't sheen as much as you know say those other clone houses obviously they're not using as much uh oils in here I don't think maybe maybe somewhere between 18 and maybe 25 percent whereas like an Alexandrian duo they're probably using up to 40 percent but nonetheless look at the sheen it's very nice actually still kind of shiny right there but It's like ambery, ambery. You know how amber kind of gives this fruity smell. It's like a fruity, there's this fruity, creamy, kind of nutty. Um, and I believe there is like some praline in here, um, which would give it this kind of sweet, nutty, kind of creamy smell. Also has a little bit of this, like a touch of fruitiness to it, okay? Now, I don't think there's any fruit in here. Maybe there's some dried fruit in here, who knows, but... Kind of has this fruity, creamy, kind of woody, and kind of nutty smell, which is very nice. See, so in this spot right here. Again, sometimes you spray a fragrance on your hand. You, you really got to smell all over the hand. You can't just go here. Okay, this might be where a little bit of the extra little mist got. And then this might be where the exact amount of all that, most of that juice landed right here. And you smell right there. That's where I'm kind of getting that fruity. It's kind of fruity, almost sweet, fruity. Again, kind of nutty and creamy, which is very nice. Nice gourmandy type fragrance, if you will. It's going to be a nice date night fragrance. This is definitely great for both men and women just because of that sweet, kind of fruity, kind of sensual, 
again, that 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 nice gourmandy uh, smell. Anytime I, I think of a gourmandy fragrance, I always think of a unisex because if you think about it, at the end of the day, you know, it might not be a, you know, it might smell a little bit more feminine, might smell a little bit more masculine, but at the end of the day, when someone is wearing it of the opposite sex, you want to gobble them up. Okay, that is what a gourmandy fragrance is supposed to do. It's make you think of that thing, that praline, that coffee, maybe that dark chocolate that you like. And it's supposed to make you really want to get close, make you want to kind of eat them, make them more edible, if you will. So, man, this is just a, uh, it's a very sexy, very beautiful fragrance, okay? Now, I think one of these other fragrances is a, Angel Share. I could be mistaken, but um, I'm not sure. I think this one might be. Let me see real quick. Let me see if they smell the same. This is that Fire Your Desire. I think this might be the same or could be wrong, but let's see. I don't think that's the same, is it? Kind of got more of a fruitiness than this one does. This one has more of that nutty creaminess. Okay, this one kind of comes off. And this one kind of comes off like kind of fruity, kind of. Man, it's been a while since I smelled this one. I think this smells much different than when I first got it. I, I, I thought this one was more of a sensual, but it kind of has this fruity smell. Kind of like the same fruity smell I was getting here. But this one has more of that, again, that kind of creamy, that kind of nutty smell as well. Yeah, I think these, I think those might be a little different, okay? This has a little bit of vanilla creeping through right now. Both really great fragrances. I think they're pretty much different. Uh, so, I mean, if you guys... Are like man which one should i get you can get both they both smell great this one just has more of a creamy nuttiness to it so if you like that creamy nutty that kind of more gourmandy smell this one kind of smells more it's like a nice syrupy fruity smell okay not too sweet though i like that this isn't that sweet i was expecting this to be like super sweet like with the praline and the you know all the other stuff the ambery the sometimes amber kind of comes off a little sweet and stuff like that too but i'm glad that it's not overly sweet it's very nice man on first impressions i'm digging that one now i assume this is a great fragrance for outdoors as well you get a nice little breeze nice cool weather fragrance again gourmandy fragrances a lot of times when you think those gourmandy fragrances, you think of cooler weather because the cool weather kind of permeates that smell, that scent into the air, that, that breeze, if you will, will kind of explode that smell off of your skin, off your sweater, however you like to wear it. But man, I'm definitely digging that Latafa Camera, okay? Now, again, you're going to have to go check online because a few of the stores are actually sold out on this, but if I can find it, I'll let you guys know down in the description down below, but Again, thank you, Mr. Kim. He actually sent me like six other samples. I'll get to these eventually, Mr. Steve Kim. But thank you again, man. That was a uh, kind gesture of you. Again, a lot of you guys have been uh, asking me to go check out Cumbra. So there you guys go. That is Cumbra, the number five on the list. I'm hoping it's number five. But again, I think a little bit of liquid might have came out on his note. Because he wrote some stuff on here. Just, man. Unless you can read Braille, it's kind of hard to uh, read some of this. Uh, but yes, I believe that five was the Tafa Kamra, the Angels Share by Killian's Dare Clone. But again, we got a couple others here. We'll go get to those at another time. But thank you again, Mr. Steve Kim. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, yep. Kind of slightly fruity, again, kind of creamy, kind of nutty, kind of kind of smells gourmandy, smells edible, if you will. But there you guys go. That is that Kumra from Latafa. I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, you know what to do. Hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.